and all that he has of us na hiyo ambayo anatuomba tu is that we turn away from sin ni kwamba tutoke kwenye dhambi tugeuke because sin will not, will not give us any good thing dhambi haitatupatia kitu kizuri chochote it takes every good thing from us itatuibia ita kila kitu kizuri and destroys us na, tu, na kutuaribu it may seem pleasurable inaweza ikaonekana yani ni ya kufurahisha it seems sweet whilst we are doing it inaweza kuwa tamu wakati tunaitenda but it is poison lakini ni sumu the eternal law of the lord ile sheria ya Mungu ya umilele has forever joined sin to death imeunganisha kifo na yani imeunganisha dhambi na kifo you can never touch sin hawezi kugusa dhambi and escape death na uepuke mauti whenever you touch sin wakati wote unapogusa dhambi you have touched death umegusa kifo it is eternal law ni, ni sheria ya umilele so much so kiasi kwamba that god cannot even forgive us mungu hawezi hata kutusamee without killing his own son bila kumuua mwana wake in our place kwenye fasi yetu but today lakini leo he calls us to repent anatuita kwenye toba and he saying na anasema hivi that when we sinned tunapotenda dhambi like him tunamkata we qualified ourselves for eternity without him sisi tulijifanya wenye wanastahili kuwa kwenye umilele bila yeye because of his love for us lakini kwa sababu ya upendo wake he wants us to return to him anataka turudi kwake and this weekend na weekend hii you have been talking about repentance tulikuwa tukiongea kuhusu toba and we have said na tumesema that when we repent before the lord wakati tunatubu mbele za mungu a number of things happen vitu vingi vinatendeka when our repentance is true and sincere and genuine wakati toba yetu ni ya kweli na ni ya kumaanisha the lord first of all forgives us our sins kwa kwanza bwana anasamehe dhambi zetu he says our sins and our iniquities he will remember them no more anasema dhambi zetu na uovu wetu hata vikumbuka tena he removes them from his record anaviondoa kutoka kwenye record yake and he treats us as his son na anatuchukua kama wana wake when you look at salvation ukitizama wokovu it is incredible ni ya kushangaza The Lord God Almighty Mungu mkuu mwenyezi determined aliamua that if it cost him his son aliahikisha kwamba kama itachukua uhai wa mwana wake sacrifice his son for you atamtoa dhabihu kwako that you so far as the Lord is concerned jinsi Mungu yeye alivyo you are as worthy as important as precious to him as Jesus is to the, the father wewe ni wa thamani na ni wa muhimu sana kwake kama jinsi Yesu alivyo wa thamani na wa muhimu kwake So he was prepared to exchange the life of his son for your life Kwa hiyo alikuwa tayari kubadilisha yani uhai wa mwana wake kwa ajili ya uhai wako In fact not only was he prepared he sacrificed the life of his son for your life Na na sio hiyo tu yani alitoa mwana wake kama sadaka kwa ajili ya uzima wako When the Lord sees repentance Wakati Bwana anaona toba He says because of what his son has done Anasema kwa sababu ya kile mwana wake alifanya atakusamehe But in the death of his son Lakini katika kifo kya mwana wake Christ Jesus also poured out or shed his blood for you and I Kristo Yesu alimwaga damu yake kwa ajili yako wewe na mimi And that blood na hiyo damu when we have been polluted by sin wakati tumekwisha kujichafua na dhambi by sin tumejinajisi na dhambi stained by sin tumejiwekea madoa ya dhambi he says that when we return to him in repentance anasema tunaporudi kwake kwa kupitia toba the blood of he uses the blood of jesus to wash us to cleanse us and to purge us anatumia damu ya yesu kutuosha na kutusafisha na kutusamehe says he uses the blood of jesus to purify us anatumia damu ya yesu kututakasa and he saying that the blood of jesus Jesus is looking for work to do. Anasema kwamba damu ya Yesu inatafuta kazi ya kufanya. The blood of Jesus is waiting for us to turn to the Lord so that it can watch us. Damu ya Yesu inasubiri sisi turudi kwa Bwana ili damu ituoshe. So not only does the Father forgive us when we repent. Na sio 
sio msamaha peke yake ndio tunapokewa kwa baba wakati tunatubu but the father also washes us and cleanses us and purges us and purifies us from the stains of sin lakini baba pia anatuosha na anatutakasa na anatusamea na anatuondolea madoa ya dhambi from the defilement of sin anatuosha kutoka kwenye hiyo unajisi wa dhambi from the pollution of sin kwenye hiyo uchafu wa dhambi from everything that will prevent us from going into heaven kutoka kwenye kila kitu ambacho kitatuzuia tusiingie mbinguni The blood of Jesus damu ya Yesu never fails. Haishindwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he said that that is not all. Na anasema sio hiyo tu. The father loved us. Baba alitupenda. The son died for us. Mwana alitufia. But the Holy Spirit will not be left out in the salvation of man. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu hawezi kuachwa pembeni katika uokovu wa binadamu. When we return to the Father. Anasema tunaporudi kwa kwa Baba. When we we turn away from sin. Wakati tunageuka kutoka kwenye dhambi. The Holy Spirit gives us a new heart. Roho Mtakatifu anatupatia moyo mpya. And not only that. Na sio hiyo tu. He comes to fill us. Anakuja kutujaza. To live in us. Kuishi ndani mwetu. To be our personal guide kuwa kiongozi wetu our personal instructor yani anayetuelekeza sisi binafsi to guide us into the kingdom of god kutuelekeza kutuongoza katika ufalme wa mbingu says so when we repent anasema tunapotoka the lord is able to do so much bwana anaweza kutenda mengi so much so kiasi kwamba that the sin that enticed us ile dhambi ambayo ilikuwa inatushawishi He gives us hatred for it. Anatupatia chuki kwenye hiyo dhambi. He breaks that connection between us and sin. Anavunja ile kile kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinatuunganisha na dhambi. Anatupatia roho mpya. That loves the Lord. Ambao unapenda Mungu. Hallelujah. 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 But for that to happen when we repent. Lakini kwa hiyo kutokea wakati tunatubu, we must understand what it means to repent. Tunapaswa kuelewa maana ya toba. And repentance means that we must allow the Holy Spirit to do his work of convicting us of sin. Na kwa hiyo kutendeka tunapasha kuruhusu Roho Mtakatifu afanye kazi yake ya kutupatia hiyo hiyo hatia hiyo zamili ya kutubu zambi. What that means is that the things that we we do and we enjoy and we love and we like and we buy with our money to to sin. Vile vitu ambavyo tunapenda tuna